Microsoft has a great lineup of games coming in the next year, and now knowing that every Microsoft game will be on both Xbox One and PC, it makes it even more exciting. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 upcoming Xbox One and PC exclusives coming in 2016 and 2017. Let's get right into this. Number 10, Cuphead. Cuphead is a really cool 2D run-and-gun platformer with a 1930s cartoony art style. In the game, you play as Cuphead as you fight a series of bosses. The game also has a two-player call-out mode going through the same story as the single player. While the game definitely isn't a typical big-budget spectacle, it is very different compared to everything else on the market and worth keeping your eye on. Number 9, Inside. Inside is the newest game being developed by Play Dead. Who is Play Dead? They haven't been one of the most prominent developers in the industry in the last few years, but those are the guys that created one of the best indie games of all time in Limbo. Now finally comes their next game, Inside, a puzzle platform adventure game. Just like Limbo, Inside is very dark and grimy in art direction. The game has some very interesting mechanics, including the ability for the protagonist to control lifeless bodies. Inside's release is just around the corner, set to come on June 29th. Number 8, Crackdown 3. Crackdown is one of the cult game series on the Xbox. The first Crackdown game initially gained fame for coming with the Halo 3 beta, and while the game sold well because of the beta, gamers quickly found out that Crackdown in its own right was a good game. Then we got Crackdown 2, which was okay, and now we have Crackdown 3. This game will utilize Microsoft Azure, which will allow the entire world to be fully destructible. That destructibility will only be available in the online mode, the single player will have a stripped down version. We haven't seen a Crackdown game in a while, so it'll be nice to see Crackdown 3 in early 2017. The power of your Xbox One, and experience unrelenting destruction and mayhem. Number 7, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is the latest game from Rare, who are once one of the top game development studios in the industry, working on games such as Conker, Banjo-Kazooie, and so on. In recent years, they have been marginalized, but they finally have another exciting game in the works, Sea of Thieves, a pirate-themed adventure game. Sea of Thieves is set in an open world and will task pirates to work together. The graphics look a bit cartoony, but in a good way, this is a very aesthetically pleasing game. Sea of Thieves is set for a release early in 2017. Oh! oh no! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, man the cannon! They're shooting back! Number 6, ReCore. ReCore is an adventure game being developed by Comcept, which is headed by Keiji and Afune of Mega Man fame. The game seems to be a very fast-paced adventure platformer where you can manipulate various robots in the world and use them. Mechanically, it's a very unique concept, and the gameplay design has promise. Don't be too surprised if ReCore isn't perfect in execution, but hopefully it can develop into a series of games. ReCore's release isn't too far away, set to come on September 13th. Number 5, Forza Horizon 3. Forza, just like Halo and Gears of War, has become an essential staple to the Xbox One's library. For some, maybe it's gotten a bit stale with yearly releases, but considering that they alternate game styles every year, and even with the yearly releases, the games are awesome, so that's good. This year's entry will be Forza Horizon 3, set in an open-world Australia. The map itself is set to be three times the size of the map in Forza Horizon 2. The game will also have four-player co-op play and cross-play. Forza Horizon 3 releases on September 26th. Seventh. The race is on. Experience. Number 4, Gears of War 4. Gears of War is finally back with its first number entry in a half decade. Gears of War 4 is definitely a facelift compared to the past year's title. The game takes place 25 years after the original trilogy, and you play as Marcus's son JD Phoenix. While the core gameplay is very similar from the level design and art direction, you can notice some new influences. The beta gave us a pretty good idea of the multiplayer, and while it wasn't perfect, hopefully Coalition can deliver something great when Gears of War 4 releases on October 11th. Number 3, Halo Wars 2. 
It's been over seven years since the first Halo War games, and we're finally getting a sequel. Halo Wars 2 is being developed by Creative Assembly. Those are the guys known for the Total War series, so you know they have a lot of experience in making strategy games. The original Halo Wars game did a very good job at taking the RTS experience and comfortably putting it on console controls. With Halo Wars 2 being on console and PC, hopefully they find a good balance of having suitable gameplay on a console, but not foregoing the PC experience. Unfortunately, Halo Wars 2 will not make 2016, but you will get your hands on it early in 2017, as it's set for a release on February 21st. Number 2, Dead Rising 4. Dead Rising 3 was one of the premier games during the Xbox One's launch, and now we have Dead Rising 4, which will once again be an exclusive to Xbox One and PC. Dead Rising 4 features the return of Frank West in the original Outbreak in a holiday season. The gameplay we've seen looks very chaotic, just as the games are known for. Hopefully this time around, the game will run a bit smoother on the Xbox One, because that was a major issue in the last game. Dead Rising 4 will be released in the tail end of this year. It's set to be out on December 6th. Number 1, Scalebound. Scalebound is the latest game from Platinum Games, who over the last 7 years have become one of the most notable development studios in the industry. From games such as Bayonetta to Vanquish to Metal Gear Rising, their track record is pretty good. Now comes Scalebound, an action RPG where you play as Drew in the world of Draconis. You are accompanied and bonded to a dragon named Thuban who will assist you throughout the game. From a technical perspective, this is one of the most impressive games of all of this generation. The gameplay at its core does seem a bit simplistic, but with gameplay elements such as Drew's ability to shapeshift into a half-human, half-dragon hybrid, it does have some interesting mechanics. This is a game in particular that will probably benefit a lot from being played on a higher-end PC. Scalebound releases sometime in 2017. You asked for it! So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 upcoming Xbox One and PC exclusives. What do you think? Are you excited about all future Xbox games coming to PC as well? What games on this list are you the most excited for? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.